So you're thinking of selling a home in Maine and you're wondering, what will be my seller closing costs? How much will I have to pay to sell this house? What will it cost me? Well, this video is gonna give you the answer in the next few minutes. Hi, I'm Mike Wiseman from the Real Property Team at eXp Realty. We work with more than 100 buyers or sellers every year here in the state of Maine. So we're gonna get after that question right now and answer it in the next three or four minutes. So let's do a screen share. Okay, so for most of us, if we're working with a real estate agent, that is probably gonna be your single largest expense, typically. Uh, real estate commissions are always variable and always negotiable. There is no set or single fee, and it's generally going to be uh, to the seller between 3% to 6% of the total sale price. Sometimes it can be less than that. Sometimes it can even be a tad more than that. It'll depend on the agreement you have with your particular real estate agent. Number two, you're going to pay as a seller one half of the main state transfer tax. Now the main state transfer tax is paid whenever property, real property, changes hands in the state of Maine. There's no getting around it. And the custom here in the state is that the seller pays half of that tax and the buyer pays half of that tax. A quick way to calculate it is it's a little bit less than half of 1% of the total sale price. There's actually a formula for it where it's $2.20 for every $500 of value. So if you take the, uh, the price divided by 500 times 2.2, that's the total tax due, and your responsibility as a seller will be to pay half of that. So for example, a $200,000 property, uh, that would work out to about $880 exactly of total main state transfer tax due, of which half, 440, will be the responsibility of the seller. Number three. Seller deed preparation. Uh, customarily, the seller prepares the deed to provide to the buyer. The seller's attorney uh, will draft a new deed. And typically, most lawyers that we've worked with in the last several years will charge between $175 to $250 to prepare that deed. Um, there may also be some miscellaneous filing fees at the county or state level, uh, recording fees, sometimes to pay off a mortgage, those sorts of things, even um, Federal Express fees if they have to FedEx in a payment to a mortgage company, which call them miscellaneous fees. And those can vary, but typically we'll see them between say $35 and $200, sometimes a tad less, sometimes a tad more, but usually in that range, relatively incidental small fees. Now, prorations for property taxes and homeowners associations, road associations, technically not a cost that's being paid by the seller because it can also be a credit. However, as most of you probably know, taxes uh, in the state of Maine are paid at the uh, city level and they're only collected once or twice a year. So depending on when you paid your taxes last, there may be prorations to the day of closing. You may have a credit coming your way or if you've already um, paid but not paid fully so that the next payment you'd be paying, so to speak, in arrears, your payment in two months would cover the payment back to today, you may have to owe a couple of months. So it'll be calculated before the closing and you'll be given that number. Same with the homeowners association. If it's halfway through the year and you pay it on January, you may get a credit back, that sort of thing. It'll be prorated. And lastly, main state withholding tax. Now this applies primarily to out of state residents. If you are not a Maine resident at the time of your closing on the property, then Maine is going to withhold two and a half percent of the total sale price against any potential capital gains taxes that may be due on the profit, if there was a profit, for the sale of the home. So let's use an example. If I purchased a home 20 years ago for $100,000, and today, 20 years later, I'm selling it for $500,000, there would be a potential profit of $400,000, depending on your cost basis. This is, we're not gonna go into specific tax advice, but there be a, certainly might be a profit in there. Because of that, Maine will withhold 2.5% of the sale price against any potential profits. And when you file your taxes for that year, if you've not paid enough, that 2.5% will be a down payment and you will owe the balance. If 
for some ch per, uh, per chance you ended up paying too much, that two and a half percent was an overpayment, Maine will give you a refund. Now there are certain cases where you can get an exemption on this. We'll do a separate video on that, what those cases may be. But typically if the sale is less than $100,000, you typically can get an exemption or if there's clearly no profit, you're buying or selling it for about what you paid for or there's no profit to be made, then Maine can give you an exemption. And we'll talk in a separate video about how you would apply for that. So there you have it. Those are the typical closing costs paid by a seller here in Maine. Any questions that you may have about buying or selling a property here in Maine, please feel free to reach out. We're happy to help you uh, answer these questions. Of course, looking to buy or sell, absolutely, we're your go-to resource here in the state of Maine. So until next time, I'm Mike Wiseman for EXP Realty, the Real Property Team. Take care. Bye-bye.